Uh, all right, Alan, why is there a, a new standard of ISO 27001? It's normal for international standards that they're revised on a regular framework, usually a major revision every five years. The challenges have been to work out what the most effective method of managing cyber security and information security will be internationally, and so this cycle has taken rather longer. It's an eight-year cycle from the original standard to the issue of new one, but it's a completely normal part of the life cycle of management system standards. They evolve, mature, uh, reflect changing requirements across the world and become uh, more widely used as a result. Well, what are the major changes in this version? Apart from the updating of uh, controls to bring them more into line with today's technology and uh, threats, the key areas of change have been a recognition that uh, the organization its context, the business contractual and regulatory requirements should be much more uh, in center stage in terms of determining what types of information security controls the organization has in place and that the risk assessment function is something which follows on after dealing with what you might call a baseline of information security. So that's the first major uh, uh, change. The second major change is that the management system standard recognizes that the role of the board is much more of a governance role than a management role uh, and, and identifies the fact the board should be providing uh, guidance, monitoring and evaluating rather than getting involved in day-to-day uh, uh, management. The third change is more of a technical change, but nevertheless uh, it enables uh, organizations who already have uh, continual improvement systems other than Plan Do Check Act to implement ISO 27001 because it no longer makes uh, Plan Do Check Act the required continual improvement process. It requires a continual improvement process, but an organization can use whatever it's currently using. Okay, so what does this all mean for uh, those companies who are already certified to ISO 27001? Uh, in immediate terms, doesn't mean very much. Uh, the existing ISO 27001 certification will uh, continue probably for another 12 to 18 months. Uh, during that time, uh, national accreditation bodies will publish uh, transition rules which will set out how to transition from a management system that's certified to the 2005 standard to one certified to the 2013 standard. And most of the things which organizations have already done to achieve certification will still be valid. They'll need to change some structural aspects of documentation. That's relatively straightforward. It's one of the uh, core services we offer our clients as we go forward. Uh, the way they've done risk assessment, the continual improvement process they've used, all of that remains valid in the, uh, in the new environment. And so companies who are looking to uh, uh, adopt the new standard from uh, and starting uh, starting from new. What 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 are, what should their first steps be? Uh, our core advice is, unless you are uh, by definition uh, an early adopter, you should stick with ISO 27000 and 12005 for the uh, next five to six months. There isn't yet a national or international accreditation scheme that you can be certified under, um, so it kind of makes sense to pursue the existing standard and then transition in due course to the. 2013 version. However, if you're an early adopter, then uh, come to us. We can talk you through the uh, early steps. We have tools and training available that will help you uh, tackle 27001 2013 in a way that will have you ready for uh, certification by the time there is a certification scheme available. So uh, for those people who are, who are interested in adopting the new standard, where should they start? Uh, on our website, www dot itgovernance.co.uk forward slash ISO 27001. You can buy uh, copies of the official standard from there. You can uh, purchase copies of pocket guides and uh, books of guidance, uh, things like uh, that, which is an introduction to ISO 27001, a pocket guide to ISO 27001, which talks about the new standard, and of course, um, our already uh, top-selling uh, book, which is the nine steps to uh, ISO 27001 2013 implementation success. All these books are available to uh, meet the publication date of the new international standard. Uh, and can be downloaded from our UK website or indeed from any of our regional websites anywhere else in the world. Those organizations who want to then uh, get appropriate training for their uh, implementation audit teams, we have a conversion course, we have um, opportunities for them to do that, and we have a range of documentation toolkits which are also designed to help organizations meet the 2013 requirements. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you very much.